A vampire is an undead being that feeds on the blood of the living to sustain itself. Vampires are associated with various supernatural powers with enhanced strength, speed, and the ability to shapeshift or manipulate minds. They are commonly nocturnal creatures with a fear of sunlight and an aversion to religious symbols, particularly crosses. In this video, we'll explore their origins from folklore creatures and historical occurrences associated with them, to their intriguing clans and unique characteristics. Without further ado, let's dive right in. One of the earliest mentions of vampiric creatures can be traced back to ancient Mesopotamian and Hebrew texts, where references to vampiric demons and restless spirits exist, such as the Ekimu or Edimu. These entities are from ancient Mesopotamian mythology, specifically Sumerian and Akkadian texts. They are often described as restless or malevolent ghosts of individuals who died violent deaths or were not properly buried. In Mesopotamian belief, the spirits of the dead were thought to linger on earth if they were not given proper funeral rites or if their remains were disturbed. The Akimu were believed to roam the earth, seeking to harm the living by draining their life life force or causing illness. They were often associated with disease and misfortune, and rituals were performed to appease them and protect against their malevolent influence. Additionally, in Greek mythology there's Empusa, a demonic shape-shifting entity with vampiric traits. She is described as a beautiful but monstrous creature who preys upon unsuspecting travelers, particularly young men. One of the most famous accounts of Empusa's encounters with mortals is found in the play The Aeneid by the Roman poet Virgil. In this tale, Empusa is sent by the goddess Hecate to terrorize Aeneas and his companions during their travels. Empusa attempts to seduce one of Aeneas's men, but he recognizes her true nature and calls upon the gods for protection. Ultimately, Empusa is driven away, unable to harm the travelers. Empusa's vampiric traits are evident in her thirst for blood and her predatory nature, and is believed to haunt crossroads and deserted places much like her sister Hecate. So the origins of vampire lore trace back to Mesopotamia and Greece. Through the stories of the Akimu and Empusa, we see the early roots of vampiric traits and characteristics that have persisted throughout history and across cultures. But the evolution from mythical vampire creatures to the human-like vampires we know today occurred through a blend of historical accounts and European folklore surrounding individuals believed to be vampires. One of the notable European tales about vampires is the legend of Jur Grando dates back to the early 18th century. In the village of Kringa, located in the Istria region of Croatia, there lived a man named Jur Grando, who was believed to be a vampire. According to legend, Jur Grando died in the early 18th century. But shortly after his death, villagers began reporting sightings of him walking through the streets at night. He would knock on doors and windows, calling out the names of those he wished to visit. Terrified by these encounters, the villagers sought the help of a local priest named Father Giorgio, who performed rituals to exorcise Jur Grando's spirit. However, his efforts proved futile as Jur Grando continued to roam the village and terrorize its inhabitants. Desperate for a solution, the villagers decided to drive a wooden stake through Jur Grando's heart while he lay in his grave. To their horror, he screamed as if he were alive, confirming their suspicions that he was indeed a vampire. After this decisive action, Jur Grando's nocturnal visits ceased, and the villagers were finally able to rest. The tale of Jur Grando is one of the most famous vampire legends in Serbian folklore, and is cited as an example of the widespread belief in vampires across Europe during the Middle Ages. Another folklore story similar to the legend of Jur Grando is the legend of Arnold Powell. Arnold Powell was a Serbian peasant who lived in the 18th century. According to legend, Powell claimed to have been bitten by a vampire while serving in the Austrian military. After returning to his village in Medveda, Serbia, he began to exhibit strange behavior, including a refusal to eat garlic and a fear of mirrors. Shortly after several villagers passed away under mysterious circumstances, rumors circulated that Paole had undergone a supernatural transformation. Seeking to protect themselves, the villagers decided to examine Paole's body. They observed unusual conditions, including a lack of decomposition and traces of blood, leading to suspicions of vampiric activity. To ensure the safety of the community, they performed a ritual to prevent any potential harm, ultimately bringing peace to the village. Plagues also had a significant impact on vampire folklore. Plagues such as the bubonic plague and the Black Death not only devastated communities, but also contributed to the belief in supernatural explanations for the widespread death and suffering. During times of plague outbreaks, people sought to understand the mysterious and sudden deaths that occurred, leading to the emergence of folklore surrounding vampires. The fear and uncertainty caused by plagues created fertile ground for the proliferation of vampire folklore. People struggling to comprehend the devastation 
devastation of the plague turn to supernatural explanations. For example, the buboes, which are swollen lymph nodes characteristic of the bubonic plague, were often mistaken for bite marks, fueling the belief that vampires were spreading the disease through their bites. As people sought explanations for the mysterious and sudden deaths that were occurring, stories of vampires or vampire-like creatures began to emerge as people tried to make sense of the plague's spread. These stories revolved around corpses rising from their graves and attacking the living spreading disease and death. One famous vampire-like creature from European folklore during this time is the Strigoi, which originated in Romanian folklore. Strigoi were believed to be undead beings that rose from their graves to drink the blood of the living. This fueled the belief in vampires as a tangible threat, and measures such as staking corpses and decapitation were taken to ensure the dead stayed dead. After the era of plagues, the cases of Arnold Powell and Jur Grando played a significant role in vampire folklore and the historical roots of vampirism in Eastern Europe. However, as they were ordinary people said to be vampires, they are lesser known compared to other figures like Countess Elizabeth Bathory. The legend of Elizabeth Bathory, also known as the Blood Countess, is a notorious tale from Hungarian folklore. Elizabeth Bathory developed an obsession with maintaining her youth and beauty. She was said to have believed that bathing in the blood of young virgins would preserve her appearance and vitality. Allegedly, she lured young girls to her castle under the pretense of offering them employment as servants or companions and ultimately drained them of their blood. As rumors of her atrocities spread, authorities became increasingly concerned. In 1610, Elizabeth Bathory was arrested and accused of murdering hundreds of young women. Though she was never put on trial due to her noble status, her accomplices were convicted and executed. While the true extent of her crimes remains debated by historians, the Blood Countess remains a chilling figure in the annals of vampire lore and Hungarian folklore. And of course, we can't speak about vampires without mentioning the source of inventing Count Dracula as we know him today. Vlad III, also known as Vlad the Impaler or Vlad Dracula, was a 15th century ruler of Wallachia, a region in present-day Romania. While Vlad III was a real historical figure, his reputation as a brutal and ruthless leader became intertwined with the fictional character of Count Dracula, created by author Bram Stoker. Bram Stoker's 1897 novel Dracula drew inspiration from various historical figures and folklore, including Vlad III's reputation for impaling his enemies and his nickname Dracula which means son of the dragon or son of the devil. If we were to place Elizabeth Bathory and Vlad Dracula in a vampire clan based on their characteristics, they might both fit well in a clan known for its aristocratic lineage and ruthless demeanor such as the La Sombra clan. These clans serve as categories for different groups of vampires ranging from the most wild and rule-free to the aristocratic high-ranking vampires with humanoid rules. It's akin to zodiac signs but for vampires. The La Sombra possess the supernatural ability to manipulate darkness and control shadows, allowing them to obscure their presence, create illusions, and even manipulate the physical environment. Members of the La Sombra clan exude an aura of sophistication and elegance, reflecting their aristocratic heritage and penchant for power and influence. The La Sombra are renowned for their ruthlessness and willingness to do whatever it takes to achieve their goals. They are cunning manipulators and master strategists. They are often involved in political intrigue and power struggles within the vampire world. The name La Sombra is derived from Spanish and Italian. It is a combination of the Spanish article la, meaning the, and the Spanish word sombra, meaning shadow. In Italian, sombra translates to shade or shadow. Therefore, la sombra can be interpreted to mean the shadow or the shade in English, reflecting the clan's mastery of darkness and manipulation of shadows. Unlike La Sombra, the Bruja clan is known for the rebellious nature and revolutionary spirit. Members of the Bruja are known for challenging the status quo, questioning authority, and advocating for social change. They excel in hand-to-hand -hand combat and are portrayed as fierce warriors on the battlefield. Members of the Bruja clan are passionate and outspoken, often driven by strong emotions and convictions. They are not afraid to speak their minds or take action to defend their beliefs. The Bruja have a deep-seated distrust of authority and hierarchy. They rebel against a established power structures within vampire society. Another clan you're probably familiar with is the Toreador clan, 
which holds a prominent place in popular culture often taking center stage in TV series and movies, especially those with romantic vampire narratives. Known as the Clan of the Rose, the Toreador are renowned for their strong association with aesthetics, passion, and sensuality. They are artists, performers, and hedonists who revel in the pursuit of beauty. Members of the Toreador clan are driven by intense emotions and a keen appreciation for the sensual aspects of existence. They often immerse themselves in the pleasures of mortal life, possessing innate charm and social grace, they excel in social interactions. By navigating vampire society with elegance and charm, often finding themselves in influential positions. The name Toreador is derived from both Spanish and French. In Spanish, Toreador refers to a bullfighter or matador, highlighting the clan's association with performance and the thrill of the chase. The name evokes a sense of allure, mystery, and the pursuit of aesthetic pleasures that define the Toreador clan's existence in vampire lore. Unlike Toreador, the Nosferatu clan is shrouded in darkness, its members embodying the eerie and macabre within vampire society. Often considered one of the more mysterious and haunting clans, members of this clan clan possess a monstrous and hideous appearance, marked by deformities and features that set them apart from other vampires. Nosferatu are unparalleled in their ability to move stealthily and navigate unseen. They thrive in the darkness, utilizing their unique appearance and cunning to blend seamlessly with the shadows. Due to their knack for stealth and eavesdropping, the Nosferatu often serve as information gatherers and brokers within vampire society. Their network of spies and informants allows them to wield influence through knowledge. The Nosferatu are often considered outcasts, shunned by other vampires due to their grotesque appearance. This isolation has led them to form a close-knit and secretive community, finding solace in the sewers and caves. The name Nosferatu, derived from Romanian, the term Nosferat, translates to undead, or not living. The word gained prominence with the release of the silent horror film Nosferatu in 1922, which depicted a vampire with a haunting appearance. The film contributed to the association of the name with vampiric entities and further solidified the Nosferatu clan's ominous reputation in vampire lore. But the most powerful and potentially dangerous clan within vampire society is the Tremere clan renowned for their mastery of blood magic and occult knowledge. The Tremere are often regarded with a mixture of awe and fear by other vampires. They are known for their expertise in blood sorcery, a form of magic that allows them to manipulate vampiric blood to achieve various effects. This mastery of blood magic sets them apart from other clans and makes them formidable adversaries. Members of the Tremere clan are driven by ambition and a thirst for power. They are willing to do whatever it takes to further their goals, even if it means sacrificing others or delving into morally questionable practices. The name Tremere is derived from the surname of the clan's founder, Tremere. According to vampire lore, Tremere was originally a mortal wizard who, along with his followers, sought immortality through vampirism. After successfully transforming into vampires, Tremere and his followers established themselves as a powerful clan within vampire society, focusing on the study and practice of blood magic. 